Hello and welcome to Pursuit Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and Direct Live calibrator. And in this video, we're doing a song demonstration video, which is, uh, I'm sure most people are probably aware, but if you're new to the channel, you might not be. What we do, obviously, we do a recording of the system that you're looking at. I use a, a stereo pair of microphones, an ear height at the listening position, studio grade ones, feeding into a studio grade recorder with really high quality microphone cable. And the reason I do that is to try and give you as close a representation as I can of how the system sounds with different products that we've got in for review. And any, everybody I've had come here that watches the channel, here's the system. They can hear straight away the sim similarities between what they're hearing uh, in the recordings and what, and what they obviously hear when they're here. Remember they're here when they're here? That'll make sense, I hope, when it comes through. And I, I normally suggest, you know, get some a good quality pair of headphones, plug that straight into a smartphone. Well, actually, I've got a review coming very soon for a little product that goes with a smartphone that makes it sound much better for not a lot of money at all. So there'll be a really interesting review coming for that. So purpose of this video, again, song demonstration video, really just for one, really, it's, there's been quite a few changes, really, but I'm highlighting just one product. And that is the Wave High Fidelity BNC based digital cable, which has got a lot of ferrite built into it in a certain way. It's a cable designed to be used between a Cord Electronics Blue Mark II Scalar and the Cord Electronics Dave DAC. That's what it was designed for, and obviously they come in a pair for that. But obviously I approached the company and said, look, any chance of me, me borrowing one, obviously to try out, feeding between the, the link in the audio PC chain, which is a Mutec MC3 plus USB, from there to the Dave, because I've been, I tried, I've tried different connections. I've tried USB into the Dave, didn't sound anywhere near as good as feeding BNC digital. And I've tried optical synths. And optical sounds quite clean, but it's just flat and just lifeless sounding. So straight away, rip that off. Optical's no good. I mean, I was only using an Amazon Basics optical cable, but you know, it's optical. I don't know how much difference you'd get through cables. Probably quite a lot, same as everything else. But I've written that idea off. And so to me, the best sound I'm getting from the Dave at the moment is feeding into it BNC. And as I say, the cable from uh, Wave High Fidelity, the Storm Reference, is absolutely fantastic for giving you more clarity, more space. Probably a lower noise floor is probably where I would describe it, or a very low noise floor. So your soundstage forms really lovely, and you've got more space. It feels like more distance between the listener and, and the parts of the music. But in saying that, everything's kind of, if I say the words elevated, things seem bigger in the soundstage. Now I could demo, demonstrate, I don't know, 20 different songs to demonstrate all that. I've just picked a couple and there's been two videos before this one. I'll link the first one up there. That's where I'll go through the system, what you're listening to, Kef reference speakers, uh, audio PC, music server with JPlay, JCAP products in there. We're using Direct Live. Instead of just me waffling on, which, you know, I'm very guilty of, I'm gonna play this song. Now I picked this song because I heard this at the Festival of Sound Show a couple of weekends ago on a, a Vettia Acoustics God knows how much the system was, but it was sounding phenomenal. Off of vinyl, through big PMC speakers. You know, the speakers that probably cost as much as all this put together, and probably the system that probably costs twice or three times what all this cost. And it was sounding sweet, smooth, natural, and beautiful. Now, this system doesn't sound as good as that, right? It doesn't sound it. I can take that one on the chin, you know, it doesn't. But it still sounds very impressively clean and clear with a lot of insight into this recording. So this is Shea Baker and Paul Blay. If I Should Lose You, it's just trumpet and piano. So have a listen, I'll come back and talk after. <laughs> Thank you. 
forever <laughs> it's beautiful i was i was mesmerized by listening to it i hope you enjoyed that song there'll be a link down below to buy that go and buy that album I mean, a lot of you probably already got it uh diane from shay baker and paul blay Tr trumpet and piano i think pretty much for most of it so yeah thrilled actually at the moment with how the system sounding it's by far the best i've heard from the dave in terms of that clarity and focus and insight and uh, when you listen to that think about the low noise floor we've got a very very low noise floor in here and kind of stuff comes out of nowhere it comes i mean th this is not really what i class a, a high-end system there's some high-end bits in here when you listen to like really high-end systems that the way sounds presented it comes out of silence and stuff this system doesn't do that i'm trying hard to achieve that from it I and mean, this is probably the closest i've been to getting kind of sounds that comes from nowhere I, th I think a lot of that is because it's quite a small room it's difficult to work in small conditions like that but you know, because there isn't, just isn't the space. If there was a bigger room, you'd have a bigger space between speaker and speaker, and the elements in the soundstage would have more space between them. So naturally, they're going to come from more silence around them. But, you know, in a way, this is a true challenge, true challenge of an audio file skill, challenge of all the bits of kit that comes in here, because no, the noise floor needs to be particularly low in order for that to, to, to happen. And that's about the lowest it's been, I think. And what, what's really impressing me about the Dave at the moment with this uh, Wave High Fidelity Storm reference cable is we get a really, really clean leading edge. So absolutely everything. But there's no, it's, there's no fuzziness, there's no tizziness. Everything's ultra clean and quite smooth sounding as a result. Now, I don't know if that sound presentation for piano and trumpet is going to be to every, for everybody, but there's a lot of insight there. We've got stop and start, silence in between. And there's a lot of insight into how the guy's played that trumpet there, isn't he? Where he's kind of blasted it and then, and then gone quiet and stuff like that, which is what music's supposed to be. Is it's supposed to give you the emotion of the performance. And this is, I think, the, by far the, the best this system has done that. Obviously, we've got the Unison Research Unico 150, which just is just a fantastic match with these speakers and it's just got a lot of power which works really great with the kefs because they need that it wants to kind of give you the sound it really wants to get it across and i think these are a little bit reserved they kind of need that and the dave's definitely like that it definitely wants to give it the leading edge in, in paul uh, rob watts's um words you know he wants to give you the emotion of the performance which is all the insights all the leading edge and transit notes and i literally can't wait now to get a hugo m scaler in here or a blue mark two scaler now i really don't care i'd love to, love to have one but to be honest, what's probably going to happen next is the system is going to get broken down. Lots of bits are going to go. 
and lots of new bits are going to come in because we've got obviously different speakers, lots of new speakers coming into review, which I think is going to be really interesting for people because I've done loads of amplifiers, I've done lots of tweaks and cables and stuff like that. So it'd be great to get some different speakers in for me personally. I'd love to listen to them. So I think it'd be really interesting for a lot of you. So yeah, some new speakers coming in. I've got a really interesting, really small amplifier from Lima Acoustics. Really looking forward to trying that out. I've got Bowers and Wilkins, the new Bowers and Wilkins 603, I think they are coming in next. So yeah, the next time you see me will probably be with a different system altogether, actually. Quite very different, actually. And uh, yeah, that's going to be really interesting. So never been a better time to subscribe to the channel. There's so much good stuff coming. Um, I'm starting to make some fantastic connections within the industry now. And there's so much good stuff coming from a content point of view. So definitely subscribe to the channel. Definitely go and visit our website. There'll be a review go up. For this digital cable, the Wave High Fidelity, fantastic storm reference. It's a fantastic cable if you own a Dave. And even if you own a Cutest or a Hugo 2 or a Hugo TT or any of the chord variety DACs that use a BNC input, or maybe even other DACs possibly that use a BNC input. And if you're using that BNC input, maybe there is noise coming in. And maybe you can get an improved clarity from your existing DAC via that cable. So go and check that cap company out. Obviously, there'll be a link below the video. A link to every video, obviously, to their website. But go and check them out. You won't be disappointed with that. Certainly not. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Go visit the website. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.